Hey guys, it's Ruthie, plant obsessed lady, loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Today, I'm um, gonna do two things. I'm gonna, I know I haven't put out a video in quite a while. Um, it's just been, it's been difficult to, to think about what I could possibly, you know, it just didn't feel right. Um, timing, just to put out a video, I just, you know, I don't know, just with work, um, being so crazy, I've been super duper um, exhausted um, with the coronavirus we are working at less than half of the staff and pretty much still the same workload um, if not more because there's less staff it seems like you know and you're doing a million things which you are um, and then just everything going on, racial tensions, the George Floyd um, murder, just everything has been really just processing that, figuring out, you know, <laughs> what could I possibly do a video on, you know, like, w what could I bring to the table? Um, so I'm going to quickly address that and then get back to this. So, alright, hi guys, so, um, I know I haven't put a video out in quite a bit, <clears throat> in quite a while, um, I just didn't, I just didn't think I could put out a meaningful video with everything that's going on, and I've just been dealing with my own emotions and feelings about everything, um, <clears throat> with everything that's going on in the world right now, um, with the coronavirus, with, um, George Floyd with just all of the um, things that are in the news right now it's just been a little bit difficult a little heavy on my heart um, and I didn't know what could I bring to, to the topic what could I say what plant could I possibly just talk about or <clears throat> or pot or <laughs> propagate with everything that's going on so I'm just gonna quickly just address it and and give a little bit of my feelings about everything and just um sorry um <clears throat> let you guys know that you know it, it's a difficult time for everyone I I um I I, I don't even know how to talk about it without like just splitting people and it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be that we should be split about anything um black lives matter point black um and that's not saying that any other lives don't matter clearly i'm a hispanic woman i think my life matters but when your <clears throat> when your brother is in harm's way we need to be our brother's keeper um I, I just believe that I, uh, I was brought up that way um, I'm a Hispanic woman um, daughter of a Venezuelan dad Puerto Rican mom who have worked their butts off all their lives and God fearing God loving people that have taught me just you know love your brothers <laughs> love your sisters you know no matter what color no matter what race no matter what gender is just it's what God wants of us and I can't I can't understand how anyone that says they are Christian or love God could have hate towards another race hate towards another gender it just it's it's hurtful <laughs> it's hurtful because how could anyone hate someone just because of their color um their background, something they can't 
change something that is insignificant because we are all we all come from the same place if you believe in God then you believe that he made us in his image and we're all his children and I can imagine that he's so disappointed in us at this time because you know he he loved us uh, more than his own angels and for us not to love each other it's kind of disrespectful and um <clears throat> just I imagine that he's really sad at us um and if you don't believe in God then just your heart has to tell you that we all we all matter we 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 should be enraged that any of us are treated less than another we should it should hurt us because it could be you it could be your mother it could be your father it could be your sister um and just hearing um george floyd crying out to his mother in his last moments that broke my heart that broke my heart it could be my anyone 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 in my family it could be it just it broke my heart and it happens more and more than we care to admit and this was just one incident that was caught on film you know how many more are there that we don't know about so it just it breaks my heart um we can do better we can do better guys we need to do better we need to do better for each other um we're the United States of America and we're so divided that it, it's terrible. Um, we believe the same. Inside we are the same. We, we have to do better guys. And that's all I can say. Um, and I'm, I'm here. I mean, uh, um, I, I know I'm just one person, but I think if we all put, put, in, our, put in our part, um, teach our children, you know to love children don't know any better children will, will love black chinese they don't care they don't see that we teach them that let's not let's not teach them that there's a difference because in the end we ashes to ashes dust to dust we we all will end up in the same place and we should have loved while we were here and cared for our brothers and um you know, your fight is my fight. Uh, tu lucha es mi lucha. And I pray that things change. I pray that we all do our part and make a difference because we all matter. Black lives matter. They shouldn't, nobody should be discriminated against because of their color, because of because of anything, gender, anything, but to see it blatantly, day after day, to know that my friends have to, you know, teach their children different than I have to teach my children so that they're safe, that's heartbreaking to believe that anyone, it, it's just, let's do better guys, it has to come from us. And thank you. I forgot to mention previously, but I will put links down below on different um, websites and places that you can go to um, learn how you can help the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, there are donations you can put to different organizations that are helping to make changes uh, for equality, as well as petitions that you can sign if you cannot afford to make donations. And just um, if you're able to. Uh, support black owned businesses just different ways and just making people aware uh, um, sharing the information and you know just being your brother's keeper guys uh, thank you so much um, I love you guys and I appreciate you so much thank you for doing what you do and hopefully we can make this world a better place um, we need to do better guys I, I believe in you guys and I know that we can we can do the right thing thank you so now I'm going to talk about something else uh, I was lucky enough and um, fortunate enough to be chosen as uh, one of the people that Legends of Monster Legends of Monstera Jimmy um, chose to do the 2019 favorite uh, plant 
I was so proud and, and, and chose my Mikans, my philodendron Mikans, because I was so proud that it was cuttings and I made it into this huge plant, long, luxurious plant that I was able to share cuttings with my friends um, with. And then, somehow, some way, uh, moved it to a different area, a little higher area, um, in a hanging hanging basket and um, overwatered it and it got some root rot so my I would highly recommend that you check your plants and use a moisture meter um, yeah use a moisture meter, meter I have one somewhere let me see if I can find it so yes a moisture meter could be your best friend um, this one checks light moisture and pH I just use it for the moisture um, but I will say do not leave that I thought it was cute left it in a pot this one got messed up no longer works so do not leave it in a pot after you use it wipe it off put it in a different area do not keep it in your pot because it will um, get damaged anyway so my beautiful Mikeins succumbed to root rot, but I cut it up. I didn't just give up right then and there. I have cut it up and I have it water propagating in a couple of um, glasses of water. Some of them have done better than others. Um, this one has some good roots on it for the most part. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. Um, but this was so uh, annoying and just drove me crazy because I was so excited and happy showing it as my favorite 2019 plant. Oh, oh I got it from cuttings and I made it into a huge plant. And then I, I basically overwatered it, so it was my fault. This um, one hasn't been doing as great, so I have that. I also propagated some of it in soil. The cuttings. This one's not quite. This one probably would do better in water. So I'm going to throw that one in here. This one rooted. That rooted. I'll leave that. And then I took some, cut it up. I mean, this was a huge, like, it... Oh, I took the wrong one. Oh, no, this is not the wrong one. I put some cuttings in some... I have charcoal in the bottom some um, moss, wet moss, and I put the cuttings in here to see if they do better in this uh, propagation tray. So you see it stays pretty moist in there. I learned that from Harley G along with some other people. I saw that she did it with um, some of her plants, so I said, hey, why not try it? Especially when I saw that she had some luck with the uh, string of hearts, I said, wait, if you can propagate string of hearts that way, then I can imagine that it, that would work pretty well, too. So I'm going to try that as well. Um, but I'm go I want to start putting the ones that do have some nice roots in a pot. And... Um, here use this pot but it has a little plastic container that I'm going to put it in and that way I can take it out because it's, it's not very large the, the cuttings right now so I just have some soil with a good amount of perlite so this time hopefully I will not over water and if I do it'll dry out pretty quickly 
and I hope you guys are doing well. I don't mean to be doom and gloom, but you know what? Um, when it calls for it, it calls for it. And I've just been so, you know, not just with work, with everything, just thinking and... I thought we were so much further ahead in, in, in the world than what we are. You know, growing up as a kid, I didn't understand all, you know, racism back then and why people were treated differently. I know that we've, we've gotten so far from that, and apparently we haven't. And that is really sad. Picking the same one up because we throw it in here. Doesn't have a root, I'm not putting it in there. So and I will tell you, if you guys have something negative to say or any of that because I've seen some really terrible comments in some people's um, comment section. If you're gonna try and bring that negativity over here, keep it over there. Is it? Because I will delete it. I don't need none of that. We're looking to um, bring people up not bring people down no so that will not be tolerated here this is about love this is not about none of that nonsense and silliness if you have something constructive to say if you have something positive that you know something that can help people learn that's you know helpful but if you bring any of that other nonsense delete let's see if any of these roots are worth it so wish me luck with my micans because I was super proud of it I mean I super proud of it and I know I'm everywhere but I've been doing a lot of um, gardening and and propagation I just haven't filmed anything because I know that you guys can understand this sometimes it's just about you doing it for yourself just for your own therapy your catharsis just mm, you know <laughs> your zenness if that's such a thing and it's it's not always to share sometimes it's your private time with your plants and I'm sure some of you understand that I'm sure a lot of you understand that there's a lot there's a lot of times I just you know I'm in the garden I'm in in my, <laughs> in my pajamas just in the garden just doing the thing you know and that's me time and then there's times where you know I want to share what I learned what what I'm doing and and that's us time and I think everybody needs their own time with their plans their own time with their whatever it is that they love to do and that's that's when you learn and, and you get to know your plans you get to know your craft or whatever it is that you love if it's knitting if it's reading if it's whatever it is you know if it's your way of chilling of um of feeling better then do it let not everything is to be shared, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately. You need to have your own private time. You have to have your own, you know, space.
A lot of these don't really have roots yet, so and I don't know if they will root. So but I I did not give up on them. So I think that's the only ones that I see that will should be able to have roots and and I'll put in here. Try not to be a crybaby today. And just, you know, give me my thoughts as best as I could at the moment. Because it's difficult to put things in words sometimes. When you feel overwhelmed, your feelings will just kind of take over, you know? Hopefully the other guys will root up as well and then we can make this a nice big plant again right now this is what it is and I could actually add um, the ones I have in here but let's see if we can make a couple of plants out of it you know and see where we go from there And if you guys have anything um, to add to the conversation, thoughts, you know, just keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep it positive. Keep it moving towards something helpful. Not anything that's going to be more divisive, more hate. Don't, I don't want to spread more hate. I want to spread love. I want to... I want people to be more understanding with each other and know that we should be together in this fight. Um, we should be together in trying to get equality for everyone. Um, and that's the only way anything will will move forward in a, in a good direction is if we do it together. So thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you like give it a like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when i post something new um if you don't like that's okay as well you know there's many other wonderful channels uh that you can watch uh, but i do appreciate those that do um enjoy my content i i'm gonna try and be better about posting more often and like i said just been super tired dream just with work and just knowing what to what to say what to what to bring to the table you know like <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a firm believer if you have nothing nice to say, nothing good to, to, to do, nothing, then just shut your mouth, you know? Just don't say anything. <laughs> um, unless it's gonna, it's gonna help. If it's gonna help, you know, sometimes you, you, you can't be the nice guy. If it's gonna, if it's gonna be something helpful for everyone. But, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say because I'm everywhere, but thank you so much. I uh, love you guys. Um, Till next time, let's make this world a more beautiful place together.
one succulent plant and cacti at a time. Bye.